Hello. What we're going to work on today is the following problem. Let's consider the area of the region inside both the lima sun r equals 1 plus cosine theta and the cardioid r equals 1 minus sine theta. So to start out with, let's consider what area I'm talking about. It's this part here that's inside both of these curves. And let's take a second and figure out which curve is which. So if we evaluate some points, like if we look at what happens at r equals zero, or at theta equals zero, we can notice that the one plus cos theta, the cosine of zero is one, so the radius would be two. So that indicates to me that this curve I'm going to trace with my pink here. This curve has to be the 1 plus cosine theta curve. And therefore, the other curve I'm looking at is the 1 minus sine theta curve. Which I'll trace around here with this color. There we go. That's the 1 minus sine theta curve. All right. So, our goal now is going to be to determine what the area of this curve is. I need to examine how the points of intersection and then figure out how that plays into the areas I'm looking at. So if we zoom in here a little bit, which I'm going to do so we can really see clearly, you'll notice there's a decent amount of symmetry that the points of intersection both happen to be on the same line, and they break this area in half, or at least they break it into two portions. So let's go ahead and get those points of intersection. One does one plus the cosine of theta equal one minus the sine of theta? Well, that's going to occur when, by subtracting one from each side, we get that the cosine of theta is the opposite of the sine of theta. So we're certainly looking for points where this is going to involve multiples of pi over four because we know that those are the angles where the sine and cosine are basically the same unless we happen to be in a quadrant where the sine, S-I-G-N, of a point would have different x and y coordinates. And here we want them to be opposite. So it makes sense why we're looking for a theta in quadrant 2 or 4, because those are the quadrants where the x and y coordinates are different um, with the, that's associated to that 45, 45, 90 triangle. So cosine theta and sine theta are both um, going to be multiples of plus or minus the square root of 2 over 2. And therefore, we're looking at specific multiples of pi over 4. In quadrant 2, the angle that's rotated pi over 4 off of the axes would be 3 pi over 4. And in quadrant 4, that would be 7 pi over 4. And if we look back at my image, we can see those are, in fact, the ones we found. This line is the line for theta equals pi over 4, or sorry, 3 pi over 4. And then the other side of that line down here in that fourth quadrant, that is the line for theta equals, oops, theta equals 7 pi over 4. So let's say we start out by trying to find the region that's above this line. So there's a little teeny tiny slice here, and then there's all of this. We see that's bounded by my green curve. So we notice that that region that I've colored like this is the region that goes from theta equals 7 pi over 4, but remember that angle also has another name, negative pi over 4, and I'm going to select that one so that as I rotate out with little um, rays like this, building those teeny tiny sectors, 
I'll see that every single one of them would then have a positive length if I go in that direction. I want to rotate positively. So I'm going to say that's theta equals negative pi over 4 to theta equals 3 pi over 4. And that the upper every single ray you'll notice is bounded by the green curve. Therefore, I can use an area calculation that just uses the 1 plus sine or 1 minus sine theta. So that region can be the 1 half times the integral of negative pi over 4 to 3 pi over 4 of 1 minus the sine of theta squared d theta. I'm not going to do the entire integration here, but I am going to expand and show you where your identities come in. So we'd have 1 half negative pi over 4 to pi over four, 3 pi over 4 of 1 minus 2 sine of theta plus sine squared of theta. d theta. And then I'll do a substitution. I'm going to replace sine squared of theta with 1 minus cosine 2 theta over 2. Remember that's the identity that we use, one of those half angle identities that allows us to rewrite the sine squared as just a cosine of a linear transformation of theta and now I'll be able to do that integration. Um, some people do it with a u substitution as well as this one. So then I'll just write dot dot dot, we'd go from there. Okay, let's go back and let's look at the other region. The other half of this below those two rays, that region has as its outer bound the red curve, the one that was the limason. So we have that one, which would be theta equals 3 pi over 4 up till 7 pi over 4 because those are the starting and ending points of those regions and if I draw little rays I can see that every point in this region I'm looking at has the radii all go out to the length of the Limasson curve only and so in order to create an integral that will compute that I'm just going to do one half integral from 3 pi over 4 to 7 pi over 4 of 1 plus the cosine of theta squared. And when I expand 1 plus cosine theta again, I'll get 1 plus 2 cosine of theta plus cosine of squared of theta. And I'll use a substitution here. I'll replace this with 1 plus cosine of 2 theta all over 2 to assist me in doing my integration. So that's the area of the region that's inside both curves. What if I wanted to look at a different area though? What if instead of wanting the area inside the two curves, we change this up a little bit and we said, okay, now let's do um, the area inside of the limason that is outside the other curve, that is outside of the cardioid. Let's go back and look at that picture. This is still going to relate to those rays of intersection, but the region I want now is a little different. I want this region in here. I can't see that color. Let's change it up. There, I can see that better. I want this region. Now, if you look at every point in that region that you're considering, the radii that you would be reaching out, so say I look at like the point here, and I draw a radius to the origin, I can see that I want the part, the area that is outside of the green curve, but inside the red one. Well, that means this is one of those area between curves difference formulas. And so I'm going to have to do an integral 
of the outer curve, 1 plus cosine theta, squared minus the inner curve, 1 minus sine theta, squared, because everywhere from negative pi over 4 to 3 pi over 4, the limason is outside of the cardioid. So that would, oh, I need a 1 half. That would be how I could set up the area to find that region. And then I could have the mirror thing if, say, now we also wanted to find this region. So maybe I want the part that's only inside one of them. Notice in that region, I have the outer curve is the 1 minus sine theta curve, but that every single line I draw out will have that property. And that is how you would solve these area problems.